Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leah if you're new here and today y'all we're gonna be making a fire keto recipe, okay? Now your girl has been craving anything greasy so I decided that I'm gonna make like a keto nacho bel grande. I actually got inspired from a TikTok video. If I can still find the video, I will have it on the screen. But this lady um, fried up some tortillas and those were like her fries. It was something she called cheese fries. So she fried up tortillas and had those at the bottom for her fries. Y'all give me one second, we gonna start. Y'all gonna see what I'm talking about because it looks good. But we're gonna make like a keto style nacho bell grande. Let's get started. So in this pan, I just have some um, canola oil heating up. If you want, you can use whatever type of oil you like. I just prefer canola oil and I have this pan getting hot as well. I'm, I'm getting ready to brown my ground turkey. Now, I don't eat beef so that's why I always use ground turkey in place of the beef so you all most definitely can use beef if you like. So I have some tortillas here, I don't know, I, got, um, I don't know how many I have stacked up here, I have quite a few. So I'm going to just cut these down the middle and across so that they make triangles and I'm gonna um may I think I'm gonna do all of these because everyone wants some so um yeah okay so here we are I have all of these cut up and now I'm about to pour them in the grease y'all and it does not take long at all for these to cook up so you have to like literally stand over these and watch them so I'm doing like four of these at a time. Let me go ahead and grab my tongs so I can flip these over. But I think they, um, I have fried tortillas before. So I know that sometimes that they do bubble up, but I definitely know you have to keep your eye on them. So we're just gonna fry all of these up. And um, you're going to definitely need a paper towel to drain these. If not, they will be so greasy. Like really, really greasy. So let me grab my tongs. They are not ready yet. Because I mean, I want these to be perfect. Yeah, and this is not the healthiest, healthiest option, but I couldn't help myself. So while we're waiting on bed, I'm just going to season my ground turkey with some of these taco seasoning meats. Now, this is not my favorite meat. It's okay, but I think it is a little bland, but I've been working with this because this is all I got, so I'm just going to season this with my taco seasoning. You can use any type of taco seasoning, obviously. Okay. And now I'm just going to mix this up. This is gonna be fire. So these are the tortillas after they came out of the grease. These just came out. So they are still a little greasy, but y'all, look at this. It's so crunchy. Let me let y'all hear. It's so crunchy. It's gonna be so delicious. I can't wait. I know I say that with everything. So my ground turkey is just about done. I'm about to turn this off and set it to the side and finish frying up some tortillas because I think I'm actually going to need a few more. So I'm probably about to cut up like two more tortilla wraps and get those in the grease. Okay, so y'all, I finished the tortilla chips up. They look so good. I have just some mild pico de gallo that I'm going to add on top. 
I got my little lettuce that I cut for myself. Of course, I'm going to add the Kobe chip cheese on top. I'm going to see if I have any sour cream in the refrigerator. And I have my meat right here, my little measuring cup out. Let me get ready to assemble this, y'all. Okay, so I have about six chips, which I'm probably not going to eat all this because they are kind of big. And I'm just going to put some meat on those. Now I'm going to add cheese if my meat is still hot so the cheese can be melting. Get all the cheese melted. Then I'm going to come in with some lettuce and just put a good amount on there. I don't want too much. which already has my onion and jalapeno peppers and everything in it. Again, not too much of that either. And then I'm just gonna top it with some sour cream. Let me check and see if I have these are the keto nachos y'all i cannot wait to taste these so y'all can see let y'all know how they taste oh my god they look so good so this is kind of like my cheat meal even though this is technically still keto because i still did use the low carb tortillas but i kind of um cheated with the grease and everything because i still want this to be like a healthy keto diet but y'all i just couldn't help myself so I hope you all like this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you can see some of these bomb keto recipes that I bring for you all. Until next time, bye y'all.